While Sculptris Pro mode works with most brushes, there are few specifically made to work with. So, for example, we have snake hook brushes, which works really good with the Sculptris Pro. So, let's see what they are and how they can improve your workflow. So, let me bring the brush palette B, B and S, and you can see a B for ball and S for snake, and you can see there are some uh, snake hook brushes and there are some new snake hook brushes snake hook snake hook 2 snake sphere and snake cactus so let's see uh, the them one by one so we have the snake hook now uh, which is the older one and uh, apart from that we have the snake hook 2 now uh, snake hook actually uh, what it do is that it just let's uh, take a look at snake hook the regular one and now if I, I'm already inside my sculptures pro mode and if I want to create uh, something of, of coming out of his head okay let me turn off my uh, uh, like symmetry mode so I can create that thing from here and you will notice that what it is doing it is creating or making that hook out of his head okay relatively to the direction of the camera so my camera direction was just like this so it made that thing popping out in that direction for example let's do here so if i will make this push a little bit more bigger and if i will pull it out and you can see that it something looks like this from this angle but if i will go it is kind of like this so this is uh why because it is using the camera direction to do that whereas if i will go back to my uh brush panel here back b for brush s for snake and then if i will take snake hook 2 the shortcut is bs2 and if i will start drawing the same kind of a brush or uh, like stroke here okay and then if i will move around you can see it is not relative to the camera direction it is basically relative to direction of my object okay wherever these polygons are facing it will create that hook from uh, on that direction like suppose if i will do here and you can see it is creating that uh, hook on that direction okay so if, if i will do it again here you can see that you will notice that it is on the direction of the object the direction of the polygon itself so that's the main difference between the snake hook and snake hook 2 let me undo this so if you want to create anything uh, relative to the direction of the camera you can use snake hook but if you want to create something related to the direction of the surface or the polygons we say you can use the snake hook brush too now let's go uh, to my snake hook normal one the the first one bsh okay and one thing you will notice here if i start to draw something here with uh, let me make this smaller with a snake hook or snake hook 2 you will notice when i reach to some point here it's kind of peters out my uh like hook over here and it makes a weird clumps over here let me do it again uh, while zoomed in okay so you can see it better here so just notice how it peters out and create these kind of clumps in the air so there is a new brush here which is known as the snake hook spherical brush okay so that what does that brush do is that it uh, maintains its volumes throughout the stroke and it never peters out just like what we are uh, what you can see over here so it will never uh, do this and if, uh, let me undo this part here and i will go to b s and then here we have snake sphere so b s s b for brush s for snake and s for against a snake so b s s now if i will do the same thing here and make you know something out of it okay let me make the brush slightly smaller is too big so you will notice that it's not 
is not petering out anything. It's just maintaining its, uh, you know, its uh, size. And you can say uh, whatever I did over here is that is basically related to the, uh, like you know, uh, the camera. Okay. Suppose if I will do over here and draw. So it starts with the, uh, you know, with your uh, surface, and then it moves towards the camera, basically. So wherever you are pointing that. So like this is how it uh, works with this uh, snake sphere brush. It maintains all its volume throughout the end. Okay, and if you're using stylus, okay. Uh, for example, if I will switch to my stylus right now, and you will notice that. With the help of the stylus, if you're doing something, okay, now I'm on, on my stylus, not on my brush anymore. So let me move with this. And if I'm doing the same thing with my stylus, if I press hard or soft, so you can see that the it makes that uh, stroke with that hard, uh, with the, if I press it hard on my style, uh, on my tablet, so it will make a bigger stroke. And if I will press smoother, smoothly, so you can see, smaller so hard bigger and small and you know softly it will make harder so this is how your uh, it will work so with this uh, your stylus it kind of works in, uh, in a nice way as well so let me undo uh, all this now Finally, let's, took, uh, let's take a look at the last one. So if I will go to my brush panel here, B, S, and after that, I have snake cactus, B, S, N, and for New York. So if I'll press N over here, so you will get, uh, you will see I have this cactus. And now see the alpha, it uses this alpha. And what it will uh, do is that it will just make a cactus like Thing over here so basically it is a good if you want to create some sort of cat like cacti on your screen and I don't find it uh, you know useful for any other purposes and you can see that this is how I'm getting to the result if I want to create a cactus over here okay so these brushes are welcome addition especially when I want to make uh, things like branches or tentacles so if you have if you like this uh, tutorial, please click on the like button. And please, uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe it now because I have noticed some of you are watching my videos, enjoying them, but most of you have not subscribed to my channel yet. So it will be very helpful uh, if you will subscribe to my channel so that you can get a more notifications if you click on the bell icon. And I will be uploading a lot of things and a lot of uh, things for especially for the members as well uh, in the near future. So I will highly appreciate if you can uh, you know share my ch channel on your social media accounts. It will really help me. And also watch my videos online. Don't download them. And keep supporting me. And thanks for your support till now. So uh, till we meet uh, for the next class. Take care of yourself, everyone.